Now, let us go to the next important problem. We have GL2R. Now, what is the meaning of GL2R? GL2R is, you will collect all 2 by 2 matrices. This 2 stands for 2 by 2 matrices. And non-singular, for that I am going to write GL, non-singular. Matrices with real entries. This R stands for real entries. So, what is GL2R? GL2R is, I am going to collect all matrices in a set and in that set those matrices have a property that every matrix here is a 2 by 2 matrix it is non-singular what is the meaning that it is a non-singular matrix means the determinant of that matrix will not be equal to 0 such matrices are non-singular matrices and what are the entries of those matrices the entries of those matrices are real numbers so in A I will have all those four entries which are real numbers. Now it is clear that if you know the identity matrix, 2 by 2 identity matrix, it is 1, 0, 0, 1. So the, it's a 2 by 2 matrix, the entries are real numbers, all these are real numbers. What is the determinant of the identity matrix? The determinant of the identity matrix is 1. So identity matrix is clearly a 2 by 2 non singular matrix with real entries. So identity matrix is a element of this set GL2R 1001. Okay. Now I hope that you have completely got an idea what type of matrices will go in GL2R. Suppose I write a matrix which is 2, 3, 4, and 5. Does this matrix belong to this set? Yes, because all the entries are real numbers. What is the determinant of this matrix? The determinant of this matrix is 10 minus 12 is minus 2. So the determinant is not equal to 0. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix which is in GL2R. Okay. Now we will collect all such matrices. And what am I going to prove? I am going to show that such set forms a group with respect to which operation? With respect to the usual matrix multiplication operation okay so let us now check the first thing which is which we know always check that is our closure so what about closure so if i take a in gl2r and b in gl2r so both matrices are non singular 2 by 2 matrices with real entries what is a multiplied by b is A multiplied by B is that matrix, a matrix which is again non-singular matrix that we have to check. So obviously this matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix. It will have all entries in real in numbers. So the only thing I need to check is that is this matrix AB non-singular. So I will check the determinant. So what is the determinant of A into B? We know that determinant of A into B is always equal to determinant of A into determinant of B. So, but we know that A is, G, A is in GL to R. So, this determinant cannot be equal to 0. Even this determinant cannot be equal to 0. So, the multiplication also cannot be equal to 0. So, this means that the determinant of A into B is not equal to 0. And therefore, this is clear that AB is which type of matrix? AB is a non-singular matrix, which is, all, which is again a 2 by 2 matrix. And it also has real entries. Therefore, AB obviously belongs to which set? It belongs to GL2R. So, if you have two elements A and B, where will the multiplication go? The multiplication will also be inside. It will not go outside the set. This means that the closure is satisfied. Now, let us go to the second one is associativity. I, I hope you know this now that we will check in our leisure time that A into B into C matrix is always equal to A into B matrix multiplied by a C matrix. This will always be true. So I will leave you this as an exercise for you. So what is the identity of the set? It's clear that here already I have mentioned you that this identity matrix has determinant 1 which is not 0. So identity matrix is a singular matrix and therefore identity clearly belongs to I2 by 2 means identity 2 by 2 matrix belongs to the set GL2R. This person will work as my identity. And last but not the least, which is inverse. What is inverse? 
if I have A which is in this set, okay, if I take any A which is in this set, obviously that A has determinant not equal to 0. So let A belong to GL2R and this implies that determinant of A is not equal to 0 and we know that if the determinant of a matrix is not equal to 0, the inverse of that matrix always exists. So this means that A inverse exists. Now who is this A inverse? This A inverse is matrix inverse. So this A inverse exists and what? And A into A inverse always comes up to be how much? In our group theory also, A multiplied by A inverse should be equal to identity. What is A into A inverse? A into A inverse is the identity matrix. So this A inverse will be my inverse of the group and that will also be inside the set. Why A inverse also is inside the set? Why is A inverse a non-similar matrix? Again the same logic because I know that determinant of A into A inverse is equal to determinant of identity. And what is determinant of identity? Determinant of identity is 1 and therefore this is nothing but determinant of A into determinant of A inverse is identity which is 1. So product of these two numbers is 1. So None of them can be equal to 0. So this already is not equal to 0 because we know that A is determinant is not equal. So we have a non-zero number multiplied by something is giving you 1. So can this number be 0? This number cannot be 0. 